Hey guys, so this video is way overdue. I just wanted to give you guys an explanation as to why it's taken me as long as it has. So I started doing facials with Elizabeth back in February of this year. I actually recorded my second video. Elizabeth and I had come together and said, you know, I would probably do about two more facials and then I would really see some drastic results. My acne scars, healing texture of my skin. So we were on the trajectory to do that and then this happened. On this Thursday night, anxiety mounts over the spread of COVID-19. My skin actually looked amazing after I did the second Clear and Brilliant facial. Like I could not believe that my skin looked as good as it did. But then with the news coming out and you know, we had to cancel all of our facials moving forward and everything shutting down, I started to really stress out. And when I stress out, my skin attacks itself. Like my body attacks itself and I just start breaking out. I started getting a bunch of, you know, new breakouts on my cheekbones, on my jaw. I mean, it, my face just exploded and it was super disheartening. I ended up catching COVID back in March. So right when it came out and that was another level of stress because we didn't know any information about it. We just hear the news inducing all of this fear in us saying that like people are dying and this is a de the, this is the death rate. And even if you're young and healthy, you could end up in the hospital, you could end up in the ICU. I have friends who are, are nurses and doctors and they were telling me how crazy it was. And I live in New York. It was the epicenter of the virus, you know? So you have all of that. It was a lot. It was a lot for me to deal with. And I didn't want to come on here. And for one, I didn't think that it was appropriate for the time. I was trying to figure out what to do with YouTube because I was like, I had this plan. I knew what I was going to do. I had everything organized and all of it just kind of went to crap. So, you know, I was started texting Elizabeth, sending her pictures of my skin. That's what I love about her is that I had this open conversation with her going through COVID. I couldn't taste, couldn't smell. My face was hanging out super badly. And she just said in that moment, hey, get better. Your skin is secondary right now. Just focus on getting better. And I swear it was like exactly what I needed to hear in that time. And, you know, I'm sure as many of you that live in the US thought that, you know, the lockdown wouldn't be as long as it has been. Like little, little did we know and how naive we've been. But, you know, we, we anticipated that we'd probably be in there in like a month, two months, three months max. But, you know, here we are like seven, eight months later and we're, we're still not completely open. I'm the type of person that just doesn't like to sit around and wait for the problem to fix itself. So when my skin started breaking out, I just came across this. I'm gonna just like insert it right here. <laughs> it's a face mask, an LED face mask, which I've actually used in other videos on like my top five favorite things that I love for the month. I believe it was July. Um, I'll insert it right here for you, here or here. It'll be above my head somewhere. If you guys wanna check that video out. Was it a miracle mask? No, by all means it wasn't. But did it help me so much? Absolutely. So the different lights target specific needs, right? So the blue light was to help with bacteria and inflammation. And then the red light was to help with acne scarring and rejuvenation and resell, you know, cell turnover and all of those things. So I ended up buying it. It's like a hundred bucks I paid for it. And it helped a lot in just taming down my acne because it was starting to get out of control. Like every day I woke up, I had to use it. So I do actually recommend that mask. I still use it to this day. I love it. Fast forward now to August and you know, the city finally started to open up. Elizabeth was back in her office doing facials again. And I was able to text her and have her be like, listen, all right, let's get started. Let's go. That's another reason why I didn't want to put out a video. So. I didn't want to put it out back in February because for one, the timing was off. We didn't even get to do the last, the next two facials where we were on the trajectory to do. Second, you know, my skin started breaking out. I didn't want to be one of those false people that are like, yeah, this is, this works amazing. I love this. And then my, you, you know, you see me on YouTube and I've got all these breakouts and you're like, girl, what? Bye. I want you guys to know like what I'm saying is truth. So right now, you know, I have makeup on but this is how my skin looks with makeup on right now. And I have to say, it looks really freaking good. I don't have to wear a lot. I'm actually gonna have how my skin looks at the end of this video. And I'm gonna take you through the various facials that I got throughout this year so that way you can see the progress. You know, we've done two Clear and Brilliant, we've done a micro needling, and I've done a chemical peel. And at the end of this video, that is the last thing that I've recently gotten is a chemical peel. And we're on the trajectory to do another one. Hopefully if the city doesn't shut down again and we can get in there in December, right before the holidays and, and we can kind of top it all off. So I wanna apologize for it taking so long, but I also want you guys to understand where I'm coming from with this video because I know you guys have been like, where's the second one? What's happening? And I'm like, girl, I know like 
What do you mean? I want to post it just as badly. Thank you guys so much for just being patient with me and understanding and hopefully knowing where I'm coming from. And I'm going to show all of you guys the clips right now. I can't feel my face when I'm looking. Literally. <laughs> this is hands down my favorite daily moisturizer. Okay. So this is called the Water Drench by Peter Thomas Roth. Okay. And it has, is it 30? Yeah, so 30% hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about hyaluronic acid incorporating into yes. your daily routine. Okay. It absorbs, yes, it mm -hmm. absorbs 100 times its weight. Mm -hmm. So basically now it's incorporated into an actual lotion on oh, a amazing. daily, yeah, so daily moisturizer. And it won't clog my pores or anything. Non comedogenic. Like it's mm -hmm. great. You'll see we're going to use it right after we're done with the procedure oh, and it's okay. just going to absorb right into the skin. Okay, cool. It doesn't sit on the skin like most other moisturizers, you know, when you want to like slab them on, really get moisturized, mm -hmm. this one is just going to go right into it because it has the hyaluronic that helps absorb deeper. Is this going to be good even during the summertime? Because, yes. Uh, I use this every day, all day. Okay. Good. That's going to be your new uh, go-to go -to moisturizer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. And this is the water drench. This is the actual hyaluronic. So oh. that's the pure okay. hyaluronic acid. So you could actually go back and forth between those, okay. but this one is the pure hyaluronic. We'll we'll do a whole segment okay. of, of actually putting it on your face after the clear and brilliant. Mm -hmm. You let me know how you like it. Okay. So this one here that I'm going to be using on you is the original hand piece. So okay. there's two different hand pieces with Clair Brilliant. The first one we used on you was the Permea. So okay. the Permea goes towards pigmentation. So you had a lot of hyperpigmentation issues. Right. So that's really what we wanted to go towards first. Okay. Plus, what Permea does is it breaks up the um, skin surface, but in a larger area. Okay. It doesn't go as deep but it covers a wider, the holes are wider, not as deep. That means it makes your skin more permeable. So your products are gonna go on deeper, it's gonna penetrate deeper. And that's why you noticed when we first did it, mm -hmm. a lot of that pigmentation came right yeah. up, yeah. right up. Mm -hmm. So now what we're gonna do is the second one, and what is this it's the original, it's gonna go a little bit deeper. Okay. It's not gonna make the holes as um, shallow and large. It's gonna make the holes smaller, but okay. deeper. So okay. this is going to be what's going to go for the fine lines, mm. um, the wrinkles, pore size. Okay. It will help with pigmentation as well, uh -huh. but this one's more for like anti-aging texture. Okay. And you have a lot of issues with, not a lot, but you have I, was like, issues. Lot, I know, I know, I always say a lot of issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, you have the pores. Yep, right the pore size. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. So that's why I like to do them in um, series. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of do a series of three or four. Okay. Because what we do is we kind of um, alternate between the Permea and the original handpiece. Okay. Starting now. Here we go. There you go. See? How's this feel? Uh, like a 4.5. 4.5. I like the accuracy. <laughs> this one is a little bit stronger than the Permea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since a lot of your pigmentation came up, mm -hmm. I would much rather do the original handpiece on you. Okay. Because we really want to get some good um, results from everything. Okay.
so this is day two. So my face is a lot more rough than it was with the other Clear and Brilliant um, head that was used. You can kind of see, let me if I do this, and if you can see like a little bit of the grains or like the little dots. Oh, you can kind of see it on my forehead here. Right here, you can see these little dots or like it's a little bit brown or just darker. That's how it essentially looks and feels all over my face. Uh, last night, my skin was very itchy and I ended up using the Summer Fridays mask because it's very thick um, and I was I couldn't find my Aquaphor. I was like looking for it and I was like, let me just use the Summer Fridays mask and it actually worked and um, I was able to fall asleep. My skin was very, very dry and very itchy. So then this morning, um, I, I used the Peter Thomas Roth, the hydrating moisturizer, moisturizer with the hyaluronic acid in it. I just wanna show you what the consistency kind of looks like. So it's like a gel and it just kind of like dissolves in very, very quickly. And it feels very smooth on top. Um, this absorbs completely, which I like. It's not like it leaves a film. So that's been helping me quite a bit. I did have a few breakouts right right here one right here and one right here, which is to be expected. I did it when I was on, while I'm on my period. I will come back to you. I think I'm gonna come back in a week's time. So that way um, you can see my skin a little bit more fresh since the last video, I kind of kept it, you know, day to day. This time you kind of know what to expect. I'm just gonna show you guys in a week's time when I exfoliate my skin, how it looks and it feels. Um, and I'm excited to get my baby skin back and to clear these bad boys up. So. Keep you posted, see you soon. So it is day four since my Clare and Brilliant uh, facial and I wanted to give you guys an update because my skin feels so smooth. So I've actually been using the daily, this is the Dermalogical Daily Micro uh, Foliant that I've been using and I love it because it's like basically like clay, it's like powder and then you just put water in it to activate it and it almost feels like chalk. It smells like chalk too. So yeah, there's that, but it's very, very delicate on my skin. So it doesn't um, cause any breakouts or anything like that, which is another reason why I love it. So this is how my skin looks now day four. This is a lot lighter than it was before on this side. This looks so good. Like so good. I had two little breakouts here. So I used the acne spot treatment that she gave me. This is the acne spot treatment from Peter Thomas Roth. Um, so there's that, which I've just been using on here and here. They also came with those like little pimple patches that you just kind of put on. Honestly, I feel like those just don't work on me. Like they just don't do anything and I end up getting really frustrated because I don't see like the pus or anything. So if it works for you, great. Um, this has been working a little bit better for me. This breakout was kind of like a cystic acne. Um, it was hurting really bad and I've been using on this and it's been going down. So I've been liking this so far. Guys, my skin, like so smooth, so smooth. This is crazy. I seem to be able to never remember this word, but it's kind of like, crows or like, egg, like crater type of acne. So that's what this is. And I've been trying to get it away for so long. And now it's like finally starting to smoothen out, which I'm really, really excited about. Results, yeah. but I started using this machine. I actually got it right during COVID. Oh. I, this machine arrived the day before lockdown. I feel like that's <laughs> devastating. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to use it. Psych. I'm using it for resurfacing, scars, pigmentation, stretch marks, and now I've really gotten into hair restoration. One of the things we are using with you today that okay. is the Biofellum. What's that? The bio repair with snail slime. Awesome. And basically it's like these little serum packets. Whoa. It's so cool. That is so neat. It's going to be used as what's called a glide. For people who are using blood or PRP or hyaluronic acid as a glide, now we can use this as a glide okay. and we embed this into your skin as we're going over with the microneedle. <laughs> <laughs> Numbing cream. Won't be able to feel my face in 10 minutes. My skin does look really glowy though. Look at this. Do a little 
snap. And push that little bad boy up. We'll start on your cheek over here. We're just gonna kind of glide some of this over the face like that. And do you see how it's coming out now? Mm -hmm. Since we are working on a little bit of acne scarring, we're not gonna go too deep today, but we are gonna go at least to a point seven, maybe to a one, okay? I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Scale of one to five, you let me know how you're doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't feel anything. Right? I don't feel anything at all. You're doing good? Yeah. You're nice and numb. Yeah, I'm so numb, can't feel anything at all. It just feels like a vibration. Usually you can tell when I'm in pain, close my eyes or I'm yeah, like I know. deep <laughs> breaths or something. My eyes are wide open. So I'm gonna go up just a tiny bit more because we are gonna try to go pinpoint over these little scars. Kind of see a little bit of uh, erythema. You're getting a little bit red. Mm -hmm. a little bit blotchy and we just want to pull up a little bit of blood draw here. We don't need a lot as long as I could see just kind of little dots. So that was a 0.7. We're going to do about a 0.9. You feel a little bit more or not really? Yeah, I do, but nothing okay. like significant. So basically this is a little bit different than the normal microneedling machine. The normal ones, you kind of use it as like a grid. Yeah. You make a grid with it, even okay. with the uh, Clear and Brilliant. Uh -huh. This one, we kind of move around in circular motions. So I know it's probably getting a little bit uh, irritated now since we keep going over the area, no. but how are you doing? It's not irritated at all. I literally don't feel anything. Really? Yeah, I don't feel anything at all. Great. <laughs> You're like, it feels irritated. I'm like, it does. <laughs> I look rosy. You like look I'm rosy. blushing. <laughs> so you see we're getting a little bit more of a blood draw now over here. Yeah. So this is really what we want. When you're trying to work with acne scarring, what you really want to be doing is you want to be breaking up all of that scar tissue. You want to break up all of those adhesions. So we're going to go over the scar. Yes, my little baby scar. I've had it since I was like five. Now, since it's kind of on the bone, it's a bony area, mm -hmm. you're going to get a little bit of blood draw pretty quick, okay? Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. There it is. All right, so we want to get that blood draw. I mean, like, I want this little bad boy to go away, and then my chin is bleeding a lot, so it's crazy. It's good. Yeah. It's actually taking a little bit longer to make you bleed than normal. See, that's what I'm saying. It looks good, though. Do you mm -hmm. see all that? I just got home. I wanted to show you guys how my face looks with natural lighting and my skin's like not even red, really. I just have a little bit of redness here and a little here and then my here, there I have it. But in the sunlight, it doesn't look that bad. And then you see a little bit of redness around my eye here. But other than that, my skin's looking really good. I'm really excited for this bad boy to go away. Good morning, guys. I literally just woke up. You can hear it still in my voice, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure I did this before I forgot. My skin's still pretty red. It was feeling a little bit tight last night, so it looks really good. I really want this gone. And she went over these areas here a lot, and it looks really, it looks really good. It looks like it's going down a little bit. I'm really excited to see how this looks. Third day, today I woke up pretty not great. I got just got my period, so it's been a very long day. But my skin looks really good so far. I did pick at this and this, trying to get it out because it looked like it was ready. I know that's probably not good. This little bad boy looks like it's going down. It's getting a little bit lighter as time goes by. This side, looking pretty good. Um, I just got out of the shower, so that's why my hair is wet. My skin doesn't feel tight or anything like that. It just feels like it's healing. It does feel really, really soft. Other than this, it looks way worse than it is. Day five, this is going away slowly. Skin looks super clean, uh, really, really smooth. Feels really, really smooth as well. This side, this is lightening up quite a bit now. This is like one of my biggest problem areas. The fact that it's lightening, it's great. Overall, it looks really good. This lighting is also really helping. It's evening out right here. I had the breakout here, so that's going away. If you guys remember, I was picking this. I am back with my beloved. Hi. Yes. <laughs> and her beautiful daughter, Kara. You want to say hi? No, you just want to be really adorable with the shoulder shrug. I'm so with it. 
I love it anyways. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing Clear and Brilliance today. It's gonna be, this is like my third Clear and Brilliance. Yeah. And I'm pretty excited. Look at this, it's getting lighter right here. I got numbing cream on and we're gonna do a little bit of, we're gonna do some micro needling by Exceed as well. As so well. I'm gonna last have time we did the Exceed. And it was amazing. My skin looked incredible and it still <laughs> does. So this is just like the, icing on the top, I think. We're just spoiling her with five star machines here. I so. am not <laughs> complaining at all. I love you forever. Also, I forgot. So I have some scars here from my accident. We're gonna just go over it with the Clear and Brilliant to see how it heals. Whew, I just got home and my skin looks really good. It's actually getting more red now as time is passing by than when I was there. I'm gonna show you my cheeks. This is going down so, so well. And this side's going down really, really well. After she did the Clear and Brilliant, she went over with the micro needling, just a little bit on like point areas. Yeah, I don't really know why it's got like these line patches. It's kind of weird. Already, this looks so good. Arm actually looks a lot worse than my face. This hurt so bad. This hurt way more than my face does. And she gave me a few products for me to try as she always gives me a little goodie bag. She gave me a vitamin C serum. It's this one. So I will let you guys know how my skin looks tomorrow and the next following days. Good morning, guys. So it is day two since I got my facial and my skin is actually healing very well, way better than in the past with the Clear Brilliant. I guess my face is getting used to it. I am about to put a snail mask on because even though it's not as inflamed and it's not as red, it still feels really, really stiff. Why does this look like the scream mask? <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes. This is how my arm looks. I'm telling you, my arm looks way worse than my face does, which is crazy. It's gonna put the residue of this fail lime. This is looking really good. Like it's smoothening out. Look at that. And I've had this for 12 years now, 13 years. Okay, so it's day three since I got my facial and my skin's starting to get itchy now. Starting to scab a little bit. You can see that my dark spots are getting a little bit darker, which is a good sign because it's supposed to get darker before it gets lighter. You can see that it's starting to scab. So maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll be able to start using an exfoliator. But so far I'm pretty happy with the results. Obviously I really like Clear and Brilliant. My arm looks pretty decent. It's also starting to get the little scab so that's also really good. The inflammation has gone down and I'm starting to see the smooth skin start to emerge. Okay, day four, I'm going to exfoliate and I'm using the Peter Thomas Raw Firm Peeling Gel. I really like this stuff. Elizabeth gave this to me the last time I had the facial and so I still had a little bit left. But I really like this stuff because I just put it on my face and then rub. And then slowly I start to exfoliate and I like it because it's not super abrasive. And that's what I mean about the exfoliation process because you guys were saying in my last video how you know you were told not to exfoliate. And it's just using really, really gentle exfoliators to speed up the healing process so that way my new skin can start emerging. It literally feels like sandpaper though, it's crazy. Gross, but also very satisfying. What's going on guys? So it has been a full week now since I got my Clear and Brilliant. You can tell on this side here how much lighter it is. I did have a little breakout, but this side is getting really, really close. You can see my like natural highlight that I have going on here. I have no makeup on my face right now. And let me show you guys a little bit in the sun where it looks like here. This is lightened up so much. It's still there obviously, but it's, it's lightening up and I have less bumps, which is amazing. My forehead looks incredible. Honestly, it kind of looks like I have Botox, but I don't have any Botox. Also, I wanna show you guys my arm. That has taken the longest to heal actually. And it's insane because you can't really tell, I think in the video how it looks, but in person and me having the scar on my body for 14 odd years, I have been able to see exactly how like the fact that it's so much smoother than it was before. I'm seeing results right here in my skin. You know, this was really, really, this was like an ice pick, a really deep ice pick acne scar. And this is smoothened out a lot. And I mean, in comparison to how my skin was a year ago to how it is now and like all the acne scars that I had a year ago to now, I'm gonna do a photo. It's 
crazy. And this is how my skin looks now. Looks pretty dang good, if you ask me. When this video comes out, it would be a full week since I got the PCA chemical peel. Now we're just kind of doing the fine tuning. It's like the finishing touches. We're like at 99% being downloaded as far as my skincare goals. Like in comparison to how my skin looked when I started this video to now, it's, it's insane. My skin looks great. It feels great. My scar is so much lighter than it was when I first started this journey. Elizabeth has literally been like my skincare guardian angel. Like, I don't know what I would have done without her. I honestly think that like, what you put out into the universe will just come back to you. I had been praying and willing so much in my life to like have someone that would just care about my skin as much as I do and like just trying to treat it. Like she's a team player, I'm a team player. It was just like, all right girl, I got you. We're gonna figure this out. And it was exactly what I needed at the time. And I still need that, you know, I still send her like messages all the time and I'm like, skincare update, this is how it's going. And like, she just works with you and really cares about what she does, which is great. I'm gonna leave um, all of her info in the description if you guys wanna check her out. This video is in no way, shape or form sponsored. Like I'm not getting paid for any of this. It's just me when I find someone that I really love and care about and like they like we just have a really mutual relationship. I want them to excel. So if you book any of the treatments with her and you mention that I refer to you, you guys will actually get a discount. Again, it's not sponsored. It's just to help her out because she's a growing business. She's doing this by herself and I trust and I love her. Well, I actually have one more facial that's supposed to be in December. December. Hopefully, if the city's still open by then, um, we'll have one more chemical peel. I'm really looking forward to that. I just think that we're like this whole long year of doing skincare together and the various treatments. It's like, I feel like we're gonna end 2020 on a really high note as far as my skin. I didn't wanna like wait until December for, for the video to come out because it would be like a full year. It's crazy. This year just like evaporated. It's actually insane. So if you guys want me to keep you guys up to date when it comes to my skincare journey, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't wanna post like every single treatment that I go and do with her, but I can maybe do like a six month progress. Course. So if you like that idea, leave a comment leave a like and I will do so I will I will keep you guys up to date for sure all right and with that being said guys be sure to like subscribe all the jazz all the fun things I'll see you guys with the next one see ya